So you're trying to determine which direction the market is going and how you should be trading. Well, first and foremost, you should never, ever trade against the trend or the larger market sentiment. Therefore, the easiest, quickest, simplest way, if you could just discipline yourself on these two things are, you can see here in these charts, there's a five minute chart over here and a weekly chart. On the weekly chart, we have two EMAs, a nine and an 18. Now, or excuse me, this is the nine, this is the 18. If you see that the nine is below the 18, you should only be looking for shorting opportunities. Yes, you can see there's a weekly chart. There's weeks where price is pulling back. Absolutely, totally true. Um, but the times that it then reverses and goes back into the direction of the overall sentiment, it's a much bigger move. Little pullback, much bigger move. So never trade against that. Always use your weekly chart to determine which what the market sentiment is and only trade in that direction. One other little nugget is only trade during the 8.30 to noon time frame, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Reason being is the currencies are still part of the overall global, global financial markets and the, the markets, uh, like stock markets, they don't open until 8.30 Eastern Time. So that's when you're gonna really start to see moves. So if you're holding off and you're waiting till the 8.30 time frame to take your trades, that's gonna position you at the point when the market is most likely to continue to surge in a direction um, that is in line with the overall sentiment. Quick example here is you can see like these 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 pullbacks, this big pullback here. Well, this is during the London session. If you're waiting for the U.S. session, which occurs around this 8:30 time frame, here's the 8:30. Again, everyone has different reasons for entering. Uh, let's say yours is you're just looking for engulfing candles. After 8.30, you finally get it, you short, market goes down. Market comes back up, this is true. Um, but that was August 30th. So let's continue on to August 31st and see what we can find. It takes a while on a five minute chart. All right, once again, so here we are, August 31st, had a big move up, price come down. We're now getting close to the US session. Here we are, eight o'clock, 8.15, 8.20. If you're doing the engulfing thing, here's again, 8.35 engulfing candle, you do get a pullback, but then a drop. And yes, it does come back, so you gotta have your profit targets and figure that out. This is just for if you're doing some quick scalps. Um, this is a way to be doing it at the right times along with the right market sentiment. So back test this, it's easy to do. And uh, see if there's anything that stands out to you that might help you get an increased edge on trading and provide you better consistency in line with the overall market sentiment.